right, you ready to start? Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Darner, board certified chiropractic neurologist. Today we're going to be talking about chronic pain. So I want to describe to you what's really occurring when you have an injury. Let's say we have a joint. This is the normal range of movement. And then an injury occurs, bang. Right there at that acute moment, your brain is doing something. It's, it's sensitizing mechanoreceptors for movement. It's sensitizing pain receptors to pain amplify. It's making the muscles that move that joint weaker, and it's making the tone on the muscles higher to make the joint stiff. So this is the pain protection map. Your brain is trying to protect tissue, protect nerves. So whenever we deliver a passive modality, it could be an adjustment, acupuncture, massage, decompression, you are increasing the range of motion temporarily into that uh, joint and you have to volitionally move in that new range of motion to claim it. You have to neurologically claim it. So I've been using coordination and mobility drills to allow people to move in a very novel way that the brain will reduce this protection map. This is the basis of a new program we have coming out, uh, Movement Recovery and Chronic Pain Reset. That project has seven steps that I've listed here on this diagram, and it has brain down pain inhibition. So where there's an injury, your brain's gonna develop a protection map. And that protection map is designed to protect tissue, protect nerve. So if we were to remedy chronic pain, and I'm talking about more than four weeks. So for some people who've had a knee injury, the actual knee injury was healed within four weeks or thereabouts, but the pain persists. Why? Because the brain is putting a protection map to preserve tissue and nerve. And now that map right here, bang, is no longer appropriate. But we have to signal the brain with sequential steps to erode the pain map and have it dissolve and reset chronic pain. So that's done on these seven steps. Recognize, we have to recognize the body in our own somatotopic map. So we've developed an app where you look at body parts of your injury area. For instance, you have, if you had a knee injury, you'd be looking at knees and you have to discern whether it's a left knee or a right knee. This identification requires your brain to take that image and then compare it to your own somatotopic map. And generally in the area of the injury, you've got sensory amnesia. You cannot identify a right knee in your somatotopic map if you've had a right knee injury. So we need to rehabilitate recognition, recognize. Imagery, we have to image and make available the idea of moving a painful joint before we actually move it. So it would be, get the idea of moving your knee. Imagine moving your knee. Imagine kicking a soccer ball. Imagine stopping a soccer ball. Imagine pushing a table with your foot, and so on. Mental imagery, imagining movement of the joint, you're activating sensory and motor neurons prior to moving it. Then we get into mirror therapy. If I had a right knee injury, what we would wanna do is we would want to put a mirror between my right knee and my other knee. We're gonna hide my bad knee with the mirror and I'm gonna move my other leg and I'm gonna watch my good right leg in the mirror moving painlessly. Now it's telling my brain, I don't need this restriction map. Look at my right knee moving painlessly. It's right there in the mirror. I'm not actually moving the knee that hurts, but my brain doesn't know the difference between what it sees and what it does. So you have the pain map eroding. Then we get into isometric. We want to isometrically tonify the knee in a pain-free area. So we do off vector. The vector of pain is, I can't do this. Well, we don't do that. We move out here in vectors that are not this. Off pain isometrics. So I would put my arm out, push it, isometrically stimulate it in a comfort zone that also rehabilitates the somato map. Then we get into passive off vector. So if it hurts when I bend my knee there, I want to bend my knee a lot, but short of the pain zone. If it hurts there, I want to go past it where it's comfortable and I want to move it in a pain free zone off vector, never in a painful vector. Then we get it passive therapy on vector. So now the practitioner is going to move the knee into the pain vector, but the patient stays completely relaxed. We're not activating the motor cortex to move the joint. 
We're not stimulating the pain map. We're only having the doctor or therapist move it in a pain-free zone. It rehabilitates and diminishes the pain map. Then we want to have active movement off vector. So if I have a right knee injury, the right knee is actually going to be twinned with my uh, left elbow. So it's like a cross crawl pattern. This right knee twins with this elbow. I can therapy reduce the pain map on the knee by moving the elbow. Here's the elbow movement. Here's the upper elbow. Here's the lower elbow. Here's the upper elbow. Here's the lower elbow. It's a novel co uh, coordination and mobility. It looks kind of weird, but that is something the brain doesn't see very often for elbow, which treats the somatic map for the right knee. Then we want to get active off vector and eventually we want to test the pain map. Now all the while we're doing this, we do a segmental uh, neuro exam of the brain. And we have to have the brain functioning in the frontal cortex for pain suppression, the amygdala, and the hippocampus. Now what these, or these structures do is they inhibit the pain map when they're stimulated. So for some people it's uh, eye movement games. For other people, I'm going to put a laser on their head and have them target around the room in a very specific way. If it's a knee, we may put a laser on the knee and have the individual pointing the knee around. But we're going to do top-down pain inhibition, bottom-up segmental stimulation in the seven steps, and right here we meet in the middle for no pain. And this is a combination of mobility restoration and chronic pain reset. So we're going to be offering these classes at the clinic one day a week. I think right now it's going to be Wednesdays at 6, 30-minute class. We'll cover this and go over specific uh, remediation steps for specific injuries. Today, a patient is in the office with a knee problem. This is how we downregulate and reset chronic pain. Thanks again. I'm Dr. Mark Darner, board certified chiropractic neurologist, and you can see all of our stuff on mynewspine.com. Thank you.